welcome back or welcome to my channel so today I'm gonna be giving y'all my everyday makeup routine um this is the makeup that I do anytime I go anywhere anytime pretty much anytime you see me in makeup this is the routine that I do this is what I consider my everyday makeup routine um it may be a bit much for some people but this is what I do and I've been asked to film this so so yeah, I'm just sitting in the house, nothing to do. So I went ahead and filmed this everyday makeup routine. So as always, if you want to see how I achieve this look, then keep on watching. Okay, so I've already done my eyebrows. If you want to check out the eyebrow tutorial, it'll be in the description. That's why I didn't film it, because I already have an eyebrow tutorial. So y'all can check out the eyebrow tutorial in the description or right here. So after eyebrows, I move on to foundation and I've been using, I really need me some more Fenty Beauty foundation, but just ain't bought none yet. So I've been using the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made Foundation in Deep Bronze. And I'm just taking a foundation brush and I'm gonna wet it. I usually use rose water or like setting spray or something, but I don't have none, so I'm gonna have to use just regular water. Now on to concealer. I'm taking my Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Tan. And I just like to highlight up under my eyes. My cupid's bow, my chin, bridging my nose, and my forehead, like that. And now we're gonna wet our brush again and blend that out. Now that that's all blended out, we're gonna set our concealer and I'm using the Airspun Loose Face Powder in Naturally Neutral. I'm just taking the powder on this brush, it's like flat top brush, and I'm just pressing it into the places where I put concealer, not sweeping, pressing. Now I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna take some powder and like cut my cheekbones, even though I didn't put concealer there. Like that. And you can suck in your cheeks and see where you need to cut. I'm also gonna take a little bit more powder and press it like right here because I always get super oil, what? Super oily right in here. So I'm gonna just put some extra powder and on my nose. Now while that's setting, we're gonna contour. So I'm taking my Black Radiance True Complexion Contour Palette in medium to dark to contour. And I'm taking the contour shade, obviously. So I just take it and go like this on my cheekbones. And on my jawline. put some right there too and around my forehead or like around my hairline 
Then I take like a smaller eyeshadow brush to contour my nose. And also my eyelids, cause I really don't be doing too much. Like for like an everyday thing, I don't be doing too much. Like I don't really don't do no eyeshadow. I just basically contour my eyelids. And then I put some of my lower lash line. All right, now I know what y'all thinking. What is you doing? We're gonna go back and blend everything out. Now, don't leave these lines looking like that. Don't leave your contour looking like that. Just take the same brush and you blend it out with circular motions. And blend kind of up, not down here. take this smaller brush. I just turned my fan on if y'all can hear my fan, but I'm taking a smaller brush just to get the edges. I don't want to get too close to like my hair because I don't want to mess up my edges or nothing. So I use a smaller brush you can get like up in there and be more precise. Now we're gonna take our foundation brush again and I'm not putting any extra product on it. Just what was left on there we did foundation and buff out the powder. And doing this will help avoid flashback um, and help your powder blend with your skin tone. And you can also use like a um, a powder or a bronzer that matches your skin tone and go over your powder wick, which will also help prevent flashback and help your powder blend in with your skin tone, which I am gonna do after this. I'm gonna go over it with that, like a powder that matches my skin tone. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Morphe bronzer in the shade Blogger, which is, it just matches my skin tone. So I'm gonna use that to go over the areas we just buffed out, like where the powder was. All right, now for a blush, just to add some color to our face. I feel like blush is important. I didn't used to use blush, but if you don't use blush in your makeup routine, you need to start doing that, cause what are you doing? Let me turn my fan off, cause I feel like it's making noise. But yeah, I'm taking the Festival Palette by Juvia's Place, and I'm taking um, this red shade for my blush, and I just put it just a little bit on my cheeks. And I also put some on the tip of my nose and like up here, like kind of around where I contoured. See how we already look less dead, you know what I'm saying? Now for a highlight, I mix Fenty Beauty Trophy Wife and Ofra Highlight and Rodeo Dry. I'm gonna list all the products in the description, so don't even worry about all that. But I just wet my fan brush. Just do a very subtle highlight for like every day. So I highlight my cheekbones, tip of my nose, and like the bridge of my nose. And my chin. My cupid's bow my forehead 
me get my smaller brush. So I highlight my brow bone. And then I highlight my inner corner. I know some of y'all probably like, you doing a lot for this to be every day, but like, I don't know, this is how I do my makeup. Like anytime I go anywhere, I don't do any less than this any other time. So this is what I consider my everyday. Like this is the least amount of makeup that I will put on like if I'm doing a face. Cause I just feel like everything that I'm doing is necessary. Like even just for regular everyday makeup, like foundation, eyebrows are very necessary. Concealer may not be necessary, but I feel like it just brightens my face, you know, gives it something, you know, like contouring. And you need to set it, you need to set your makeup powder, all that. And highlight, you need that. Like you just need all this. Okay, so now we're gonna do the eyes, which is the last step before whatever lip you wanna do. I usually do lip gloss for every day. Um, well, not like just lip gloss. I have like a lip combination, but I use mainly lip gloss. So I'm taking my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner. I usually do a wing, like a real short wing, but I kind of just wanna do like a regular line, no wing. That's what I've been doing recently. So it's for everyday makeup routine. I know everybody doesn't know how to do wing eyeliner, but you should be able to do like a regular line. So I feel like this would be easier anyway, more suitable for um, everyday makeup routine. Then I'm gonna take a black eyeliner pencil. I'm taking this Wet n Wild black eyeliner pencil. Um, most of these products that I'm using are drugstore products. And I also use a lot of these in my drugstore makeup video. But my highlight, my blush, and my powder that I use to dust off, the Morphe um, bronzer that I use to dust off my powder are not drugstore products but everything else is. So a lot of this stuff is affordable, but I'm gonna put some black eyeliner on my lower lash line. I meant my, not my lower lash line, my waterline. And then I didn't do a wing on the outside, but I like to do like a small little wing um, on my inner corner. Like that. And then I'm gonna apply some mascara and I'm using, this came out of Ipsy Bag too. This is my favorite. This is also another thing that's not a drugstore product, but that's okay. This is a Thrive Cosmetics Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. This came in an Ipsy Bag. And this is just the best mascara I've ever used. And I'm running out, like I've been super low on this and I need some more. Yeah, also uh, apply mascara, like when you're done with all your makeup, like all your powder and stuff, eyeshadow, um, and you get like a whole bunch of powder or eyeshadow or whatever in your eyelashes, mascara kind of helps clean that up so your eyelashes don't be looking dusty. And now for lashes. Put some stuff up. I hate leaving a mess when I do my makeup. Like I be having to clean up as I go. Or like if I'm going somewhere, I need to clean it up before I leave. I hate coming back and all this makeup stuff be all over my bed or wherever I was doing my makeup at. I'm gonna be applying a pair of my lashes that will be releasing April 30th. I have four 25 millimeter styles, two 14 millimeter styles, and one eight millimeter pair of lashes. So I got long lashes, I got short lashes, and yeah, y'all just need to stay tuned till April 30th. I'm gonna make a video on that day. I'm gonna post a video um, on April 30th, the day I relaunch. And I'm probably gonna just film like a how to apply strip lashes video and then also make it like a try on haul type thing of my lashes. So y'all get to see what each pair looks like on and like the quality of them because it's bomb. They're bomb lashes. The quality is bomb, A1 top notch. If you're not shopping with me on April 30th, then you really need to reconsider your whole life and everything you've done up until this point. Like, 
I'm gonna be doing. So obviously for like an everyday makeup routine, I'm not gonna use my 25 millimeter lash styles. I'm gonna use one of the shorter pairs. I don't know if I wanna use the eight millimeter, but they're like super short, natural looking pair. So I feel like that's kind of more fitting for like an everyday, but I really like the 14 millimeter one. I think I'll try the eight millimeter pair today. Why not? Also y'all, I'm supposed to film a clothing haul today if the sun don't go down because I'm gonna have to recharge my camera before I start so if the sun don't go down before my camera charges up enough I'm gonna film that so you'll probably see this outfit twice and this outfit that I have on here let me show y'all and the necklace it's like a ripped sweater and mini skirt so this outfit and also this necklace that I have on this is my zodiac I'm a cancer July 11th 7-Eleven, period. I'll be 21 this year. Hopefully all this corona mess will be over by then because I really want to go to LA for my birthday. And that was the plan. And I don't have time for this corona. My corona already messing up my coin. They done just messed up everything for me, all my plans. And she's just not finna mess up my 24th birthday. So we're not doing. So y'all need to stay in the house, sit out somewhere so this could be gone before July. Now, but yeah, this outfit and this necklace will be in that haul. You'll just have to stay tuned and watch the haul, which will be my next video after this. Let's apply these lashes. Here are the lashes, super short, super natural looking as you can see. Also, to apply these lashes, I'm going to take my Hushi Beauty lash applicator tweezers that I will also be selling. Okay, y'all see the logo, super official. I'll be releasing these April 30th as well. So make sure you purchase a pair of these when you purchase a pair of your lashes because I'm telling you, if you're not good at applying lashes or like you're not used to it, I'm used to applying lashes. I've been applying lashes for years now and I still use lash tweezers because it's just so much easier. You have so much more control and yeah. So I highly recommend that you purchase a pair of these tweezers because they literally like help the whole lash process go by so much faster. You ain't sitting here taking forever trying to get them into place. This is what you need. So what you do, you just take the lashes and put them in between the tweezers like this. So they're in between the tweezers and then you apply your glue on the lash band and then you can just guide it on your eye. And the how-to instructions on how to apply lashes and um, how to use these, I included um, how-to instructions in my packaging. So if you purchase a pair of lashes from me, then all that will be included. You'll need to purchase your lash applicator tweezers and when you purchase your lashes, the how-to instructions are included on like my lash cases. So there you go. Like I said, lashes in between tweezers. You just take your lash glue and apply it to the band. And you're gonna let it sit for like 30 seconds to get tacky and apply it. All these instructions will be included on my lash packaging when you like, when you open up your lash case, it's right there on the lid. So you're welcome. All right, well, I'm gonna apply my other lash. The camera might die before I do that, but I'm gonna let my camera charge up a little bit and then I'll come back and then do my little lip combination and then that'll be it. Okay, so I applied my other lash, let my camera charge. So I'm gonna take my brown lip liner by Wet n Wild and line my lips. Okay, now I'm taking my NYX lingerie lipstick. It's like nudish color in the shade Teddy. I'm just put a little bit. Like that. Then I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild lip gloss in my Cherry More and put in the center this red color just to give some rosiness. I'm gonna go over all of it with a clear lip gloss and it's another Wet n Wild lip gloss in Sweet Glaze. And boom, and that is the finished look. Let me get up close so y'all can see. That is my everyday makeup routine. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what y'all wanna see from me in the future. Any other videos, makeup videos, clothing hauls, 
anything challenges whatever yeah that is it for this video i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel please and thank you and make sure you have your post notifications on so you don't ever miss when i post because you don't want to do that you don't want to do that so make sure your post notifications are on and i will see y'all in my next video bye